Hey guys, it's Drew here with Trailers for Less at the Noonan location. I got another video for you today. Uh, we're going to do one on a 7x14 PJ 7-ton uh, dump trailer. Uh, I'm going to go, there's a lot of features that this trailer comes with. I'm going to go over a couple of the main ones because I could literally be out here all day telling you about everything that this trailer comes with. So we're going to try to keep it a little quick and simple. Uh, and I'm going to try to tell you a couple differences between what this trailer has that maybe Big Tex doesn't have. I don't know if I'm going to get yelled at for this, but... Um, <laughs> we get a mass all the time, so you're gonna know the differences here today, okay? So this is her, this is the seven by 14 PJ dump trailer. It's seven foot wide, it's 14 foot long. Uh, we're gonna start with just the back of the trailer and I don't have a cameraman out here with me, so I'm just gonna have to show you how stuff works. I can't do everything one handed out here. So you've got, this is what we call the dual combo. Um, barn door and spreader on the back. You can see the latch ahead of me. Um, you just open that barn latch right there and both of these doors swing open. And uh, you've got down here where there's four gold pins. Those are where your slide out ramps come out. So it does have slide out ramps. So when you open these barn doors, you could load you a Bobcat um, or heavy equipment in here because this is a two in one trailer. It's not only used for hauling roofing supplies or gravel or like that. You can actually put uh, a bobcat or a tractor in here. Um, so that's a really cool two-in-one feature that this, this trailer has. Um, and then over here, of course, to do your to do your spreader, you're gonna pop these gold pins out, one on that side and one on this side, and it's just the lever right here. And all you gotta do is pick that up and then you, it, you're ready to spread. Gravel, mulch, whatever you have inside the trailer. Uh, and you've, you have LED lights throughout the entire trailer, tail lights, marker lights, whole nine yards, everything's LED. Um, you've got this thing is sandblasted, acid washed and powder coated. So the paint job on this thing is, is, is very, very good. Uh, they do offer an upgrade for a primer and powder coat if you'd like to go that route as well. You have the heavy duty uh, ATP fenders on the side. They are non-removable. They are welded onto the trailer. And you've got two 7,000 pound axles. You got brakes on all four wheels, which DOT requires in the state of Georgia. Um, you got 235, uh, 235 80R16 tire and wheel assemblies. They are radials uh, for your, and they're eight lug as well, white spoke. We do offer black wheels as well with them. You have a spare mount on the side, of course, for your spare tires, not included. We do sell those here in the store. Now up top here, I wanna show you guys something. This is the stake pockets on the side and then you have two stake pockets up front. And what these are for is you can add side extensions. These are a two foot solid metal side standard on the trailer right now. And they do make four foot solid metal, but let's just say you don't wanna have four foot solid metal because they're too tall. But you, every now and then you'd like to have them four foot because of what you're hauling inside. They make side extensions that bolt into these stake pockets that are two foot. And all they do is bolt in and when you're done with them, you can unbolt them and you're back to your two foot sides. Another awesome feature that comes standard with this trailer is the tarp mounting kit. A lot of manufacturers out there aren't gonna come standard with the tarp, PJ does. It's a hand crank, you've got an 18 foot tarp. Why do you ask they have an 18 foot tarp on a 14 foot trailer? Of course, because if you have a tall load on the inside, it makes sure it goes all the way over and makes it to the back, okay? You've got four D-rings on the inside of the trailer that are welded. You have two in the front and two in the back. Now here's what makes this trailer different to a lot of competitors out there. This has the uh, 10 gauge metal steel. Most of everybody out there is using 14 gauge and that's how they get by with being cheaper on price. Um, PJ does not take any shortcuts in that area. They do a 10 gauge steel all the way throughout. And also one thing that PJ does that nobody else does, or not many people around here, I'm sure up north and somewhere else they might have it, but they do an I-beam tongue. And they've been doing that since the beginning of 2019, as said of the channel, which is just an, an awesome feature. It's super heavy duty, super sturdy and super strong. Um, so that is a great feature that PJ did. Uh, you've got a 2 and 5 16 coupler, which is adjustable. And the reason, of course, they make it adjustable is that way you're riding level with whatever vehicle that you're pulling this with. And people always ask, what kind of vehicle do I need to pull this with? Well, I'm going to tell you right now. An F-150, at least a half-ton truck, will pull this trailer no problem with a decent load in it. But if you're really wanting to push this thing to where it can really perform, then you're going to want at least a, a 250 or higher to really pull this thing loaded out. 
would to, and of course this thing is rated about 10,000 to 10,500 pounds of, of weight. And so the last thing I'm going to show you guys is just underneath. I'm going to show you the dump on it. You've got your toolbox right here, or battery box, whatever you want to, whichever you want to call it. There's no wrong way. You've got your battery here with the trickle charger built in. You've got your hydraulic fluid and pump, and then your remote. And it is super simple. Up is up, down is down. So we're going to take it up real quick. And this is another thing that sets uh, a lot of the PJ apart from a lot of competitors is they use a scissor lift. It's a single cylinder scissor lift underneath. A lot of people use the dual cylinder and people always ask what's better what's the difference i mean to me uh, a scissor lift is better because and i'll tell you why is because if you can see it's picking up from the heaviest point of the of where your weight would be on the trailer for your dual dual cylinder you're gonna have a post here and you're gonna have a post there so nothing is lifting from the center of that trailer the scissor lift is grabbing because your your heaviest load is always supposed to be centered over the axles and that's where this is lifting from so to me, the scissor lift, the way to go. Uh, and of course you can see under here, and there's the, there's the single cylinder right there. Of course you can see the, the slide out ramps underneath here as well. Uh, everything nice and clean up underneath here. Uh, manufacturing is fantastic on these trailers. Uh, they, PJ is a huge manufacturer. They're very well known and well respected. Uh, you have a safety bar there and they're just a fantastic trailer. Um, and we'll leave it up. So there you guys have it. That's the seven by 14 seven ton pj low profile and like i said we carry this in all different sizes six by 10 six by 12 seven by 14 seven by 16 different colors is are available as well um, and we have these at both locations we have them of course at this location that you're seeing right now which is 1137 highway 16 east noon in georgia and then we also have them at my fayetteville store uh they're 949 price road or 143 price road fayetteville georgia 30215. Um, so that's it, man. And that is 7x14 PJ Dump. And we guys will see, we, we guys, I don't have any editing either. So we'll see you on the next video. I hope everybody has a happy and safe new year. And we'll see you later. Bye.